McLaren offers its mid-range 570 model in two distinct flavors. The 570S is your hardcore track toy that you take to the circuit or your favorite twisty road on the weekend. The 570 GT is what you want to drive every day. It has a softer suspension, lighter steering, and a usable cargo hold behind the front seats. For 2018, the McLaren 570 GT's new sport package, it's the ultimate McLaren for people that want to have their cake and eat it too. But as is usually the case, the best of both worlds costs a little bit extra. The 570 GT suspension starts like 15% softer in front and 10% softer in back compared to the 570S. The steering is 2% slower too. Adding the Sport Package though essentially reverses those decisions and adds the 570S's Pirelli P0 Corsa tires and software calibrations. Carbon ceramic brakes come standard while our tester adds super lightweight forged wheels. But while you get these mechanical improvements, you also get the normal 570 GT benefits. This rear glass hatch grants access to a small but usable cargo hold. The 570 GT can't manage a set of golf clubs, which, well, yeah, but the extra cargo space is nice. The bigger improvement is that this hatch presents a more refined, smoother profile. An improved interior with an Alcantara headliner and heated power seats are also on hand. What does all of this mean from behind the wheel? Well, as it turns out, not a whole lot. The 570GT with the Sport Pack is brilliant to drive, just like the 570S, and just like the 570GT. The reality is that without a racetrack and all three cars at our disposal, it's really difficult to notice what the mechanical changes that come with the Sport Pack do to the driving experience. The 570GT with the Sport Pack still has that unflappable McLarenness about it. It's able to shake off bumps and imperfections. You hear them quite, quite clearly, but you don't feel them and they don't really have an impact on how the vehicle handles. This car doesn't sidestep around turns and it doesn't bump steer like you might expect from a high strung supercar. This is still the same 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8 with 562 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque. Don't let the whole GT moniker fool you. This is every bit a McLaren Sport Series car. The engine is fantastic and the transmission is very nearly as good. It's a seven speed dual clutch automatic. And while it's a little bit sluggish when you ask it to change multiple gears down, on upshifts, it is seamless. It doesn't send shift shock through the car, which is great when you're trying to deploy all of this power. The combination of the engine and transmission is good for what McLaren says is a 204 mile an hour top speed. The zero to 60 time is around the mid three second range, but it's still fast enough to scare your pants off. You still get all of the 570 GT accoutrements. I have nice, comfortable seats. These are not the hardcore racing seats that you need a European's waistline to fit into. They're broad and they're comfortable and they're very, very good for long distance driving. I put 150 miles on this car yesterday and I didn't think twice about it. Going with the Sport Pack still doesn't address some of the problems that are inherent in the 570 GT. For example, you still get this glass roof and on a hot summer day, well, it, it kind of turns the cabin into a microwave. And that rear window back there. Now, in a normal 570S, you get a vertical piece of glass. You look through it, it's fine. When you angle the glass like it is on this car, it distorts what you're seeing through the rear view mirror. It's a little bit annoying, a little bit disruptive. I wouldn't let it ruin the 570GT for me though. And the reality is that the extra cargo volume is welcome. But now the downside. See, the 570GT is already more expensive to start than the 570S, and the Sport Pack adds almost $6,000 to that total. So before you even add a single option, the 570GT with Sport Pack costs $208,900, and that's a lot of money. More than it costs for a well-equipped Audi R8 
or a base Porsche 911 Turbo S. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. Yes, the 570 GT is very expensive, but it's easily the most balanced member of McLaren's Sport Series family. And when you're looking for balance in a six-figure sports car, is price really an object? 